What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So a lot of details have come to light since my last news update. So this is gonna be a little collection of some older news, some newer news, but at the end of the day, it's all hype news. So if that sounds good to you guys, then let's jump right into it, starting with the Dokkan Fest election between Hit, Khalifa, and Kale. And to nobody's surprise, the winner was Hit, which means that a Hit Dokkan Fest is confirmed to be on the way in the near future. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be like JP first, Global second, like it normally is, or since we both got to vote at the same time, maybe it'll drop simultaneously on both versions, or it could be like Vegito Blue, where it actually comes to Global first for a couple months, and then is added to JP. Like I said, nobody knows. We don't have any details about the card, when he's coming, or what his category is. But let me know in the comments down below actually what you guys think his category will be. Personally, I feel like it's going to be representatives of Universe 6. It makes the most sense since all the choices were Universe 6 characters. And also since LR Goku and Frieza is the leader of Universe 7, kind of makes sense as they want to go along that line. But that's all I really have to say about the guy. I know that there are a lot of hit fans out there, so I'm super happy for you guys. And of course, I love me some hit too. I think at the back of my mind, I was rooting a little bit, just a little bit for my girl Khalifa to pull through. But you know what? <laughs> I'm totally happy with hit. And I know that it's going to be a Dokkan Fest for Khalifa at some point in the near future. It's just a matter of time, so I'm okay with this. Now, jumping over to the next bit of news, we got Dispo and Rebrand coming early to global for the lr goku and frieza banner so basically this means that the leaked banner that we saw a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago actually a couple days ago um for the lr goku and frieza is now going to be the same on both versions if you guys need a little refresher i'm going to throw it on the screen somewhere around me and uh, let's go over it quickly so we got the lr goku and frieza we got a kefla we got the new AGL Dispo, at least for Global, new physical rebrand for Global, the Tech Android 17, Tech Android 18, uh, Fit Boo, Berserk Kale, Khalifa, Topo, Int Hit, and AGL Super Saiyan God Goku. So overall, it's not the most exciting banner, right? But if you think about it in the context of Legendary Summons banner, this is actually one of the best Legendary Summons banners we've ever seen. <laughs> And is that a little bit sad? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit sad that our expectations for Legendary Summons banners are so low. But, I mean, Bandai knows how to make money. They know that the LR itself is enough to get people to dump boatloads of stones on the banner. So they don't really have to make it that good. And you know what? There are some actually very solid units on here, like the Kefla. Uh, the Androids are great too. Dispo is really good. I don't think he'll have his Awakening on Global when he first comes though, so that kind of sucks. Um, the, you know, Kale is really good when awakened, Khalifa is solid, Topo is one of the best support units for Realm of Gods as well as Universe Survival Saga led by Jiren. And the hit kind of sucks, but you know, it makes sense for him to be there. Super Saiyan God Goku with AGL1 is solid too, so overall, not a great banner, but could be worse. Just keep that in mind. Some Legendary Summons banners have been really, really bad. But there you have it, that's the banner. Next bit of news, let's talk about the LR, Goku, and Frieza details. Just going over the card quickly so you guys can know what to expect when they drop. So they're going to be the leader of the representatives of Universe 7 category, which is a brand new category. It's not Universal or Universe Survival Saga, like some people thought. And they're going to give the category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 177%, which is the best leader skill we've ever seen in the game up to this point. They also give tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, which is the same as LR Goku Black. So they're super attacks, they got 2, and they look freaking amazing. Go check them out if you haven't seen them yet. Probably the best super attack animations I've ever seen in Dokkan as well. So 12 key, 12 to 17 key is called Limit Breaking Assault, causes colossal damage to enemy and attacks, and lowers attack. And Miracle of Universe 7, which is their 18 plus key super, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Their passive Miraculous Cooperation, attack and defense plus 77% when attacking, plus an additional 77% when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional 77% when target enemy is in attack down status. So when you add everything together, it's going to be a 231% attack boost on their passive when they're performing ultra super and when the enemy has attack down status and they lower the enemy's attack when they super so after they super once then they will be dealing that 231 percent extra damage to the enemy or if you have another unit on the team that can debuff the enemy's attack as well then they can immediately get that 231 percent attack whip buff on the enemy all right so their links are over in a flash experienced fighters rival duo shocking speed 
Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Very solid links, they're gonna link with a lot of good units. And Category, Universe Survival Saga, Full Power and Representatives of Universe 7. And that's pretty much it. The card is freaking awesome. All this means, at the end of the day, is that they are now the hardest hitting, by far, by far the hardest hitting unit in the game. I saw a little post on Reddit where at free dupe level, with no extra dupes in them, just with the 50% you know, free dupe orbs open, or dupe pass open, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. They have an attack stat over 5 million under a double Jiren lead, right? <laughs> This is without any dupes. Bottom right path is closed, but top left path is closed. All the other paths are closed. No dupes, over 5 million attack stat under double Jiren. That is, what do you want me to say? Like, it's absolutely insane. So yeah, um, they're gonna be really good. People are gonna be summoning for them like crazy. It doesn't even matter if their banner isn't the greatest. There's gonna be tons of people spending thousand two thousand plus stones on this banner and uh if anyone's summoning for him or them best of luck because i hope that we all we all we all pull it but it's not gonna happen right because that's not how this game works but best of luck to you if you are summoning now moving on uh representatives of universe 7 category units have also been released by i seriously let's jump right over there i don't have them on the screen for you guys as well of course so it's gonna be quite limited as Predicted. It's gonna have the LR, of course, as the leader. Um, it's gonna have units like I'm not gonna go through all of them, but basically, it's gonna be things like the Int Piccolo. There's gonna be SBKK Goku. There's gonna be Fit Boo. Some of the Androids. Some Android 17s. Some Blue Goku. Some Blue Vegetas. And the most notable guys, I would say, are Int Angel Golden Frieza for sure. There's also UI Goku. There's also SSB Vegeta. So overall, it can be it can be a very very good category team but it is quite limited at the moment. If you want to build a very good version of this team, you have to have very specific units. So you have to have a UI Goku, you have to have, you know, you have to have the SSB Vegeta, you have to have the Int Golden Frieza. So if you are a newer player or a free-to-play player that doesn't have a lot of these top tier units, then it's going to be hard to build a good team with these guys at the moment. But you know what, it's going to be expanding in the future. I'm sure they're going to release more units from the Universe Survival Saga, specifically Universe 7 representatives. So, you know, the future of this category will be fine. Just right now, it's going to be a little bit limited. And I think I have one more thing I want to talk Oh, two more things. Universe Survival Saga story coming to global. You guys probably saw it on the news release. Basically, it just means 22 more free stones and also farmable Android 17s and Android 18s. So all of your Android 17s and 18s can now be farmed to Super Attack 10 through this story, which is awesome. You know, it's just another thing to do in this game. Gives you a little bit more content to grind through. So if you guys are interested in doing that stuff, you guys like grinding, you know, that's something for you. And uh, last but not least, of course, is Super Shenron. I'm sure you guys have all heard about this, but there are literally no details about it. It's just, a, all we know is that a Super Shenron thing is coming. I don't know if we have to collect more Dragon Balls, or if it's just going to be a wish right off the bat, or what the actual parameters for getting this wish will be. And of course, I don't even know what the wishes are. So, some people have been making some crazy predictions, right? People are like, yo, he's going to give us a free LR or he's gonna like allow us to open all dupe paths for a unit that we choose, or he's gonna reset the story, like completely reset, reset all the story stages so that you can re-farm the story. Um, I think that's all ridiculous and insane. <laughs> and even though it's Super Shenron, technically, he should be able to do everything. It's still Bandai at the end of the day, let's be real. And we're probably gonna just get something like, basically the Purunga wishes, but boosted, right? Like maybe uh, enough orbs, enough potential orbs to rainbow one of every unit of each type, or maybe we will get 25 tickets, you know, on the 250 million download celebration banner, something like that. It's gonna be a very good wish, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be something that's really, really solid, but it's not gonna be crazy, like resetting the story, because that's, I don't even know how many stones, but that's something like 600 plus free stones, something like that. Ban, I would never do it. <laughs> Trust me, guys. But yeah, I'm still very excited to find out what that exactly means, what the details are. And once those details are released, you know I'll keep you guys posted and let you guys know as soon as I know. So yeah, that's coming soon. But that's all the news I want to talk about today. That's everything that's you know new from the last time I made a news update. So if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And uh, as always, if you 
are watching me for the first time, you'll like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, try to hit that notification bell because YouTube can be pretty dumb sometimes. Sometimes they won't tell people that I have a new video out or whatever or when I'm streaming or anything like that. So if you guys want to keep up to date with my newest videos, then make sure to hit that notification bell so you're always, always you know, get those notifications. <laughs> but that's it guys. Hope you have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.